Week number six featured more overtime games and dramatic finishes in district contest as October football welcomed football weather back to Tennessee. I'm Dennis Weaver of Friday Night Thunder. Give us three minutes. We'll look at the highlights for the teams in the Friday Night Thunder network area and contests statewide. This is the Friday Night Thunder Week 6 Rewind. In District 8, AA Livingston Academy dumped Smith County in a battle of district leaders. Macon County spoiled Cannon County's homecoming. York spanked Upperman, and DeKalb County fell in a non-district game at Trousdale County. In District 12 AA, Page got a two-point conversion in overtime to stun Giles County. Marshall County pummeled Cascade, and CPA leveled Spring Hill. In District 8 AAA, Tullahoma pulled out another dramatic comeback defeating Columbia. Lawrence County intercepted a pass in the end zone in overtime to stop Lincoln County. Shelbyville turned back Franklin County, and Coffee County enjoyed a bye this week. In District 9 Single A, Middle Tennessee Christian stayed undefeated as they bounced Moore County. Huntland stung Forest, Eagleville tamed Fayetteville, and Community enjoyed the week off. In District 7 AAA, Blackman used a strong second half to drop Laverne. Riverdale scalped Stewart's Creek. Siegel tamed Smyrna. And Oakland enjoyed the week off. Elsewhere in Middle Tennessee, Innsworth got an overtime win over MBA on Thursday night. Ravenwood blanked Centennial. Henry County squeaked by previously unbeaten Springfield. Camden dumped Hickman County and Stone Memorial returned a block field goal attempt as time expired to ruin Warren County's homecoming. In East Tennessee, McCauley got their third straight win over an undefeated team as they defeated Baylor. Notre Dame crushed Signal Mountain. Oak Ridge stopped Campbell County. McMinn County stunned Soddy Daisy. And Grundy County got a comeback win over Chattanooga Christian. In West Tennessee, Adamsville completely destroyed Middleton. McKenzie squeaked by Brewston Central. Milan defeated South Gibson. And Dyersburg hung the first loss of the season on Martin Westview. That does it for the Friday Night Thunder Week 6 Rewind. You can see all the scores from our scoreboard available on our website, FridayNightThunder.com. There you can also catch links to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook pages. This has been Dennis Weaver for Friday Night Thunder.